Yeah, so the margin has shrunk to within 1,000 votes. Yeah, Pete, only 700 votes between Labor's Christy McBain and the Liberals' Fiona Cotvoice and a few thousand postal ballots still to count. But the opposition will narrowly hang on to the seat of Eda Monero, a win made possible by preferences from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party. We saw Christy McBain claim victory yesterday afternoon, but it could still be several days before the Liberals concede defeat. Despite that, Labor leader Anthony Albanese has branded this an against-the-odds win for his party and denies his leadership would have been under threat if the result went the other way. Well, given the talk is just amongst the people here and no one in my caucus room, uh, I don't see it as an issue and never did. Pete, much will be made of big swings against the Nationals across much of this electorate, continuing that trend of the party losing ground to the shooters, fishers and farmers in regional areas. It didn't help the contest started with a chaotic entrance from John Barillaro before the party eventually settled on Trevor Hicks as their candidate. National Senator Matt Canavan last night telling Sky News that he wouldn't pin blame on anyone, but the number of disaffected Nationals voters is a problem. The lesson for us here continues to be uh, we have to respond uh, uh, to some of our voters uh, who, are, who, are, who are going off in other directions, uh, who, are, who are having dalliances with other parties. Uh, and yes, the overall revolt result was about the status quo, but that hides this difference where we did very well in Queanbeyan, uh, presumably because of uh, the, the personality of John Barillaro and the candidate, Trevor, a great candidate from Queanbeyan, former Deputy Mayor of Queanbeyan. But in some areas, in rural areas, take Binalong, we had a, a 15 percentage point swing away from us uh, and the shooters got 20 percent of the vote there at Binalong. And Eliza, the government is now losing one of its most senior members. Pete, after months of speculation, Matthias Cormann has confirmed he will leave politics at the end of the year. The West Australian Senator has been Finance Minister since 2013. He's worked under three Liberal Prime Ministers, but he will stay on to work on three major economic updates this year, including the October budget. Pete.